Alright guys, welcome back to another video. This is JFam, and I am with my daughter Zoe, Princess Zoe that is, and she's going to be my lovely assistant for this video. Um, you click this video because obviously you want to see if this $5 gaming headset is worth it, and that's what we're going to do today. We're going to dive right in. Let's get started. Okay, this is the Yaosi gaming headset, and this video is for either a, parents who have kids that are really rough on their headset. It's just a game, dude. Dude. Oh! And I'm, you're tired of just spending a lot of money on headphones all the time for their PS4, Xbox, or PC, no matter what it is. Um, or B, kids that don't have a lot of money. Maybe you want to use your allowance money and your parents won't buy you headphones. So these are gonna be great to pick up they're only five bucks and where you get them is five below it's a store pretty much all the way across the United States and everything in this store is under five bucks or five dollars five dollars buster um, and you can also I'll put a link in the description you can get this headset at five below on their website as well so you can order it so this is the box and as you can see it is for Xbox one PS4 and PC this headset will work for those it also does come with a working microphone, and if you do have a PC, you can uh, use the adapter to plug into your PC. Um, and also, a good thing is, you can use it for your um, your phone. You can listen to music on your iPod or whatever you want to listen to music for. It has a standard 3.5 millimeter port. So let's break out the headphone. Um, it has the microphone, like I said, a decent length cord, and it has a... Um, volume adjuster on the side as well and let's see what it looks like on princess Zoe our a lovely assistant here uh, I'm a princess too it fits like a normal headset like a turtle beach and it's got the microphone this adjustable up and down you can move this up and down the microphone and also these adjust as well up and down you can move those as well so the ultimate question is is this headset worth five bucks is it any good and we are comparing this to the turtle beaches we've had about what Zoe four pairs of these yeah. five and these seem to last about five to six months and these go for anywhere between 30 and 40 bucks depending on if you find them on sale so we've had quite a few of these and have had some experience with these um, the problem these tend to the cords short out when you plug them into the PS4 controller or the microphone will get real staticky and sound really awful on the other person's end and we've also had one side uh, the sound of the ear go out so you only can hear audio in the video game from one side sir no sir speak up sir no sir I still can't hear you really maybe you should get your hearing checked <gasps> so I got tired of spending you know, I have three kids, we all play games together, 40 bucks on a new headset. So I wanted to give these ones a shot and see where if they're any good. So what we're gonna talk about is quality, as in durability, comfort, and we're gonna talk about the microphone as well. So microphone-wise, I would give Turtle the Turtle Beaches, these, about a seven out of 10 quality. And when it comes to these, the Yaosi, Yaos I think that's how you pronounce it, the mic quality is okay. It's average. It's not the best in the world, but it will still allow you to speak to your friends. So keep in mind, guys, they are five bucks. So you're not going to be sounding like, you know, uh, uh, amazing podcaster audio. It doesn't work like that. But durability. Now these we have had these. Um, the one headset we had for five months before one earphone went out. So we had these, the $5 ones, the Aussies, for five months before the audio started cutting out in one of the earphones. So durability-wise, I would say they are just as good as the Turtle Beach, their competitors. And I, I like that fact because, and once again, they're five bucks. So you go and spend five bucks, and it's not like spending 40. It's it's easier that way. I had these. And, um, I was, Tell them. And um, the um, two earphones were not, and then the mic were not. The mic ran out and the two earphones. Yep. So, and now Zoe, what? And we're going to talk about comfort. Which ones do you think are more comfortable, Zoe? These ones are. Okay. So Zoe likes the Turtle Beaches. She does have a smaller head. Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty small head. It's kind of the size of a little soccer ball, um, and she's only seven. So comfort wise for like a smaller kid, seven years old, princess Zoe size, they might not be the most comfortable. Um, 
the ears kind of come down. Let's see, babe. Let's put them on the smallest setting. These are on the smallest setting. And still, her it's coming all the way to the top of her ears up here. So it's way, sure way down here. Isn't that the smallest one? Right? It's the smallest one. So it's really sitting on, like, not even covering her whole, whole ear because her head is so small. But if you have, like, a 10 to 12-year-old like my other kids, uh, they fit great. So comfort-wise, they also do have the, let's show them here. They have the foam padding, which is nice, but they are not going to be a Turtle Beach comfort-wise. So let's just sum up the final question, short, simple, to the point. Are they worth 5 bucks? Absolutely. Are you getting the best headset in the world? No, but if you're short on money or once again, you um, are kind of careless with your headphones, you break them a lot, or your parents don't want to spend money on a gaming headset, maybe you can give, convince them to get you this headset, once again from Five Below. It'll get the job done and it, it'll work out great. So thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully this helped a little bit and we will see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.